Many occupational regulations require that particles are collected with specific sampling efficiencies called sampling criteria, which are based on deposition in the human respiratory system. Inhalable samplers collect those particles that can be aspirated into the human respiratory tract. So the inhalable criterion, shown in blue, follows the respiratory deposition fraction for particles larger than 5 micrometers. Shown in yellow, the thoracic criterion is designed to collect only those particles that pass the head airways, nominally smaller than 10 micrometers. And shown in green, samplers based on the respirable criterion collect only those particles that can pass through to the deep lung, nominally smaller than 4 micrometers. Inhalable samplers are designed to aspirate particles like the human mouth and nose. Examples of inhalable samplers are the IOM sampler, IOM stands for Institute of Medicine, that has an opening a bit like a mouth with the filter partially exposed. Another sampler is the button sampler that has a perforated metal sphere that provides more protection for the filter. In this animation, we can see air entering the inhalable sampler developed by the Institute of Medicine, or IOM. The motion of very large particles is dominated by gravity settling, causing them to be unaffected by the airflow entering the sampler. Approximately 50% of 100 micrometer particles will be aspirated into the inlet of the sampler, mimicking the behavior of the human nose and mouth. Smaller particles are aspirated with increasing efficiency as they are more easily carried by the airflow into the sampler. Various vendors sell different size selective cyclones, such as the aluminum and BGI respirable cyclones. Air entering the cyclone is forced to spin several times with larger particles hitting the wall and being forced to collect in a grit pot in the tip of the cyclone. The smaller or respirable particles remain airborne and pass to a filter, often housed in a filter cassette like that shown here. There are also size-selective impactors, such as the Personal Exposure Monitor, PEM sampler, or the Parallel Particle Impactor. In these samplers, larger particles collect on an impaction plate, and the smaller particles that remain airborne are collected on a filter. The Parallel Particle Impactor is unique in that it has different diameter impactor nozzles to produce a collection efficiency curve that closely matches either a thoracic or a respirable criterion at different airflow rates.